fundamental point is whoever comes to power in Bengal has to deal with 30% Muslim vote. So if you go with BJP, your 30, what will happen to your 30% or majority of that 30% Muslim vote? That you have to keep in mind. Whoever gets that has a probability of winning the elections in Bengal, right? So will Mamta Banerjee touch that 30% vote by going with the BJP? I'm not very sure about that. She may have other compulsions for which she may have to support or back BJP on you know issue on an issue issue to issue situation like particular bills in the parliament or things like that you know or particular issues she supports uh, uh, he supports the BJP but a support to the party to form the government at the center if that is a question it's a very critical question I mean it's a very critical question for her not for me I mean like there is a 30 percent Muslim vote you see, BJP has put up two candidates in uh, in Bengal who are Muslim candidates. They have not put up any candidate in the earlier elections in the in Uttar Pradesh. So, Muslim candidates, if BJP is and and many Muslims are joining the BJP, you know, at this point in time, many are supporting the BJP. So, if that is the situation, then how can you antagonize the majority of the Muslim vote by going with the BJP? And expect their votes in the next election and if she makes that mistake I'm sure if, if she makes that mistake a large chunk of that vote will move again to Congress and the CPI especially in central Bengal which are Muslim majority districts so uh, in this context at this point I can tell you that I don't see any possibility of her moving towards uh, the right far right uh, but uh, but you know if, if she may give uh, support on basis of on on basis of particular issues as I have said particular issues uh, but uh, overarching support on uh, you know I, I don't see there's a there's much possibility. The previously we have heard this thing happen on Atalbiari Bajpayee's time. That's a different political situation altogether. You cannot fight in politics two enemies. It is very fundamental. It is absolutely fundamental. It is the Mao Zedong said on contradictions that you cannot have two two enemies. You know, your contradictions cannot be two. You have to have a primary enemy and a secondary enemy. Mount Abanji's primary enemy at that point in time was not BJP. It was CPIM. So she worked closely with BJP to remove CPIM. But at this point of time, her primary enemy is not CPIM, it is the BJP. So she is trying to coordinate with the CPIM, though not very successfully, I guess. But she is telling the CPIM to come on ground. And there are a lot of examples which I can uh, cite to establish that Mamta Banerjee has been trying to help the CPIM on occasions, not always, you know, not always. Uh, nothing is permanent, nothing is linear and always in politics, but she has been... She has been more lenient towards CPIM than she used to be, you know, 15 years back. Now, so, so this political situation has changed and with that her policies also got to change and it has changed.